All right, back to the news. We broke at 5 o'clock. The University of South Alabama officially has a new president tonight. Yeah, Dr. Tony Waldrop was offered and accepted the position just before 5 o'clock tonight. Local 15's Derek Rose just stepped out of that meeting where Waldrop said yes. Hey there, Kim. Uh, Dr. Waltrip, just speaking with the media a few minutes ago, he called it a humbling honor to accept this position to become the third president here at the University of South Alabama. He said during his visit, during the interview process, when he and his wife Julie came here, he said instantly they knew this is where they wanted to be because they said the people here were real. He talked a lot about how involved and how important it is for the community to be involved in the process of selecting a president and also being involved with the president as he continues to move this university floor university forward. Uh, Dr. Waldrop obviously uh, is now the former uh, provost and executive vice president at the University of Central Florida, the second largest university in the country. He has also worked in North Carolina and that's important because North Carolina obviously has two large schools. The state of Alabama has two large schools and he said he wants the University of South Alabama to be as premier as those other two universities in the state of Alabama. Uh, doctor, or not doctor, but Jerry Moulton, obviously she is is the widow of President Emeritus Gordon Moulton. She said this also was an honor to finally have a new president at the University of South Alabama to follow her husband's, her late husband's legacy. We're going to hear a little bit more from her tonight. Also, when you have a new president, you want to know what that person's vision is for the school, for the university moving forward. We'll have that part of our interview coming up tonight at 639 and again at 10 o'clock. Live on the campus of University of South Alabama, I'm Derek Rose, Local 15 News.